Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Like it is advertised right there. It's the Ramble as we hover above New York City where we go until midnight tonight. And hello, everybody. How are you? It is, uh, we're ready to go with another version of our fine program. Uh, and on, the, on, on it's going to be almost a Tuesday tradition now that uh, we, uh, we uh, uh, join. Uh, let's see, this guy, let's see if we can uh, get his picture in here. You got your pick. There we go. Okay, let me uh, let me just do this, and there he is, ladies and gentlemen. There's 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 Phil Meyer. Hey, it's Tuesday. The, it must be Alex. The man's and, so dangerous. We won't put him on with other people. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. hey, uh, talking about dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, I found a new coffee. Oh, really? Uh, Another one? Oh, black called Black Rifle. Yeah, murdered out, mm -hmm. and uh, you know that's the. Uh, it's pretty smooth. It's not as strong as mm -hmm. I like, but it's it's smooth and. Well, I, I mine is uh, wake me the hell up, but this <laughs> this isn't uh, because wake me the hell up. I use in the morning because it's two times the strength. Okay, but this if for nighttime I use Wolfgang Puck's uh, Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, uh, yeah, I get up early in the morning and yeah. make my coffee, and so far, murdered out is the uh, is the you style. Know, you were really suckers for those names, aren't we? Yeah. What was yeah, the we, one we were doing before? Uh, Death Wish. Death Wish. Yeah. yeah. I had a skull and crossbones. Yeah. It, it wasn't as strong as murdered out, and it, I didn't think it was as good. Uh, it wasn't bad. But murdered out is really strong. Um, uh, I, it's not as strong as like an espresso that you'd get, uh, if you went, uh, uh, to Italy, you know, uh, yeah. but, it's, um, or, or Cuban coffee or anything like what, that. What do you know about these espresso, uh, like the curry kind of espresso type thing? There are, yeah. I think, what is it? What's the name of the company that makes something like that? Where you have to put a capsule uh, in there. M, uh, huh? Does it start with an M? Uh, I can't remember the name of it now, but yeah. it it uh, I was thinking of getting one of those, but they're like three hundred bucks or something like that, you know. Yeah. But they they do make they have these little K cup type things, and the, oh, uh, Suppresso. Nespresso. Supp Nespresso. Nespresso. Right. Uh, what do you I, know? What do you know I about them? A hotel yeah. in uh, I don't remember where, but the room I was in had a Nespresso, mm. and it's delicious. Really? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Did it wake you up? Uh, no, I had it at night, but uh, yeah. Oh, it, it, you do, you do, well, who am I to talk about doing coffee at night? Hello, folks. How are you? Yeah, I do it. Hmm. Uh, but uh, it, it was, it was very good. I don't know that I'd want it on a, as a steady diet, mm -hmm. but. Uh, once in a while, it's uh, it's pretty tasty. Yeah, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm just. Uh, let me see here. Are we going out? I only see the two people. Or uh, uh, I see you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I just had to reboot this, and now I see that there are some people watching. Okay, it said two people were waiting, oh, and I'm uh, going... at uh, 23, 23 watching. Something but, like uh, that. No, nobody watches this thing. Why, why are we even wasting our time doing this? You know. Uh, I've got four friends in this world, and they all watch. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, I've got one friend in this world, and he doesn't. So, you know. Uh, Is that the guy that calls in on Mondays? No. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Shecky. Yeah. He calls in on Mondays. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, so, I mean, I don't know. I just, I, I am just, I, I think I'm just so fatigued out, it's ridiculous, you know? I mean, today I felt all day like I was sick, but I wasn't running a temperature. And I thought I was aching, but I wasn't, you know. 
but I just was lying in bed and I'm just going, I'm sick and tired of lying in bed watching one TV show after another. You know? Is your skin clammy? No, you know? no, no, no. Okay. Uh, mine is from time to time. I feel hot. I took my temperature. It was like 96 and a half. Really? So, uh, yeah. So I know there's nothing going on. But, yeah, I haven't felt good. And um, I think it's the radiation. The while, you think it's the radiation? For the last. Yeah. Do you think it's the radiation we did? It probably is. But I think so. Um, I, yeah. That's uh, one of the side effects. It's yeah. just that, um, uh, you know, lately I've been asking myself, well, what if this is my last day? You know, what if what if I'm not going to be here tomorrow? Uh, you know, because I've had that feeling for the last couple of weeks. And, well, uh, you, you know, I I just uh, I'm I, I, I'm tired of not really going out much, even even when it was a lot better here. Mm-hmm. I didn't go out because you still had that chance of of catching something, you know, and uh, I like you am in that comorbidity area because we both had prostate cancer and we got radiated for it. And I, I don't know if that is a comorbidity. I have no idea. But the other comorbidity I have is I'm 80 years old. I'm going to be 81 in two weeks. Yeah, happy birthday, yeah. Mr. December. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I think the radiation does something to your uh, immune system. Mm-hmm. And uh, that that may make it a, a little more difficult. Yes. But I take so many vitamins and so many supplements. Yeah. Zinc and A and D and B12 and you yeah. name it. Yeah. I'm but I, uh, you know. Well, tonight I was just today, I was just getting squirrely. Okay. And I finally just said to Marjorie, I said, I can't yeah. watch, I can't watch one more TV show. I can't lie in this bed for one more minute. I said, you know, I'm sick and tired of just vegging for now. It's been what, eight months, something like that. You know, it's just it's yeah. it's taking its toll on me. It's driving me nuts, and oh. and and I th- and then I think about going out, and then I turn on uh, Cuomo, and he says, "Hey, if you're over sixty-five, don't leave the house." Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, if uh, if you can say that your home is mm-hmm. a, uh, a what do they call those a sleeping facility? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you'll be one of the first to get the uh, to get the vaccine. Yeah. Oh, it could be. Could be. No, I won't be one of the first. We're we're I think number three in line is what we are. First, yeah. it's uh, the yeah. uh, it's the uh, 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 hospital workers who should get it first. I mean, they're the most exposed to it. And then it's yeah. the uh, it's it's all senior people who work in and seniors in a, uh, a nursing home. Right. And then it's it's us, right? right. We'll be the th- and we'll get ours in about probably late, mid to late uh, January, something like that. Yeah, you uh, know. And I, then you can't still. They don't want you to go out. You know. Does it take two weeks before? Well, no, uh, it isn't a matter of two weeks for it to take effect. That's not the point. It's just that they they just feel that there's they, there's so much they don't know, and they don't yeah. want to take a chance. You yeah. Know, so. Uh, yeah, that, that makes uh, makes sense. You know, I'm I'm out and about every day, um, yeah. conduct business. I don't know how anyone else does it. Uh, I I go stir crazy. But our mayor in San Francisco, London Breed, turns out that she went to the French Laundry three days after uh, uh, Newsom. Yeah. And uh, you know, it seems as though almost uh, every and oh, in Los Angeles there was a uh, supervisor. Mm-hmm. Uh, who uh, said that you can't do outdoor dining anymore, but three hours before it was going to take effect, or, or I believe it was Who was it? Hours. Was it the governor of Utah, I think, maybe, who told everybody uh, don't leave the house, and then he went to New Orleans? Uh, <laughs> that, that one I, I didn't hear. But I did know that Newsom uh, supposedly went to Hawaii uh, on a junket, oh, and uh, and uh, Lightfoot, she she did something well, in Chicago. They, they said that what I read the other day was that because of the whole French Laundry thing. In case people don't know what we're talking about, the French Laundry is a restaurant in Napa. That right. uh, you, you in order to get a reservation, you have to be registered at birth. Okay, yeah. uh, a one year uh, waiting list. One year waiting list. Well, 
Maybe not anymore. I don't know. But anyway, uh, he went to the French Laundry, and uh, it, after telling everybody, don't leave the house. You know, Thanksgiving, don't do anything. Don't, right. d- don't go anywhere. Stay at home. It's the only safe way. And then he goes to the French Laundry for dinner with a bunch of people without masks on, okay? They now are asking to have him recalled. What do you think about that one? But they've been recalled for a while. Uh, the, oh, they've uh, always been uh, trying to recall him. You know, Second Amendment supporters want him recalled. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody wanted him. Re- I I wanted him recalled. You know. But, well, uh, you I know something. Sign. You know what I hate about recalls, and and yeah. and this even went for the impeachment of Trump. You know, is that I've often felt that okay, uh, you're not allowed buyer's remorse. Okay, the guy got elected, let him do his four years, and if you don't like him, work your ass off to kick him out of office when he runs again. Yeah. Right? I think you and I would both agree on that. Absolutely. Rather rather than... I wouldn't sign the Newsom uh, recall. You know, I remember when they recalled... um, It wasn't Wilson. uh, It was Wilson, I think. It was Wilson? Yeah, I think Uh, so, yeah. And uh, they uh, replaced... Um, uh, Schwarzenegger ended up. Getting, well, what uh, happened was they had they had a an election. They recalled him, and in a recall, the lieutenant governor or something in California doesn't automatically become the new governor. You have to hold an election, so they held a fast election in which anybody could run. They had like uh, thirty three candidates or something. It was there was a hooker. Oh, there was no, so no, a porno actress, not oh, a hooker. Say, okay. She gets paid for sex. And uh, then there was, uh, who was the short black kid that died a few years ago that was Oh, G- uh, da- yeah, Coleman, uh, Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. Yeah. He ran. He yeah. did pretty good. <laughs> well, the only, reason, the only reason why Schwarzenegger won is because there were so many people running. The only right. way, all you had to do to win was get the most votes. So and if there had, are 33 my, people running, you could I could probably run and get three votes and be governor of California, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's how Schwarzenegger became governor, you know. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, you know, he he probably would have been all right. Uh, it's just that I think he got taken advantage of. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was a little naive when it came to uh, California politics. Mm-hmm. And, uh, they uh, they ripped a new one. Well, I, I you know I, I still think there's something to be said for not voting for people who are like in movies or on television or whatever, unless they've spent a certain amount of time in that public sector working as a politician. Like uh, Reagan, huh? huh? Like, like like Reagan. Although I'm watching a documentary on Showtime, I've never you know I've never liked Reagan, uh, and you probably did. Uh, oh, very know. much. Well, if you watch the, watch this documentary, he turns out to be a pretty crappy governor. That he he did things, and forget about anything you say that he broke rules and things like that. He did stuff which permanently hurt people. Uh, yeah. It was the closing of the mental health facilities. Now, I think there was a, yeah. a federal reason why they had to but do it. But there's a whole, there's a whole, it, it's not like this, doc, it's kind of like you get the feeling maybe this documentary was out to get him, but everything is is fact. They just said he was really not that good a president, and they gave reasons why. His son is in the documentary saying how terrible he was. The ballerina? Huh? The ballerina son? No, uh, 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 Reagan's son. Yeah, I know. Ron He's Jr. got a son that's... Uh, uh, oh, no, no, like no. He, for a short time, he was doing ballet in his yeah. early years. But later on, he became a commentator on television. Yeah, he, he didn't like uh, his father. But then his adopted uh, son, who... Uh, oh, that it, piece of crap. Commentator. And I think he was adopted by uh, Wyatt and... Uh, and uh, Reagan. Wyman. Uh, Wyman. Wyman. Yeah. And Reagan. Yeah. But anyway, watch it. Watch the documentary. You might have a different opinion when you see a lot of times when time passes and they can then do a documentary on somebody and, and you see the whole picture kind of coming at you in real in, in, in TV time. You start to see all the mistakes the guy made and why he really wasn't very good at what he did because he didn't he didn't understand the average American very much. 
you know, because he, he grew up for the most of his life in a very privileged situation. He was in Hollywood, you know, it was just, he was royalty of sorts. And uh, he didn't know how to deal with the, the average person and what the average person faced every day. Uh, I think that maybe was a problem Trump had, too. You know, but let's not get into Trump. Let's yeah. let's There's try a, and not get into Trump. Almost tonight. all politicians, though, uh, uh, especially in today's world, unless they come from big, big money, they mm -hmm. can't they can't run for office. I mean, you know, Joe, Joe Biden had uh, name recognition because he was a vice president. He's mm -hmm. been in uh, in politics for fifty years. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and you know, people were looking for something safe. Uh, I, I thought I thought uh, Trump was safe, but uh, you know those that opposed him were. Can, can I just ask you? I mean, I don't want to get into a, a big Trump argument here, but uh, are you are you a little disappointed in the way he's been comporting himself? Uh, yes and no. Uh, uh, I I believe that you can fight the battle that he believes mm -hmm. and and uh, others do as well. That uh, that there was uh, fraud and uh, that the election was stolen from mm -hmm. him. Now, if he believes this, uh, a number of people say that that's not true. Well, including, not by the way, including Barr. today, Bob Barr. Barr. Right. Yeah. So, but and you know he he lost the uh, in the Supreme Court of uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, he lost that decision, but I gather that he had to lose that decision in order to get in front of the uh, u.s uh, supreme court i don't think they're going to take it well they may not and but if they uh it that's what he's looking for and uh if he's he, probably he probably would get i i don't think they'll take it and if they do they will say uh-uh you know i mean well, this, this is a little, let me put it this way I said to somebody the other day, and I again, I don't want to really get into into the the merits of Trump or not the merits of Trump, but I said, let him have Pennsylvania. He still won. You yeah, know, but let him I, ha let him have Michigan. Give Michigan and Pennsylvania. He still won. But it's not the matter of winning or losing. It's it, is our election free of fraud? I and, think. Well, B Bob Barr seems to think so. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Although today uh, I listened to a number of people that had signed affidavits. Mm -hmm. One guy was a postal worker. Another guy was a. And poll. where did you where did you see that? Because it was only on one channel. Yes, and I saw it on that one channel. <laughs> <laughs> because you know they're they're exposing a different narrative than you're going to get on those other channels. Uh, OAN. Oh, and absolutely. I'll tell you how bad the narrative is on those channels. Number one. Uh, the, the, over at um, over at Newsmax, they had the electoral count the other day, and it was still nobody had won yet. <laughs> All right, okay, that was that was one thing they did. The other thing they did, and this was hilarious, it was really hilarious, was they were talking about. Well, you know, uh, Biden is saying that all the people in his press corps are women. And he said that's a, you know that's no big deal uh, that they're women. Uh, 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 there, uh, McInerney came out and said that we mostly have women in ours. Mostly, uh, there are only but, three women and three men in his press corps. You know. What they said was, uh, uh, for all of the appointments of women in Biden's uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. war or whatever, uh, that they filled similar positions that were filled in the Trump White House with women. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was a pretty even, Stephen thing, but. When Biden, well, yeah, but he but he wanted them in those positions so he could touch them on the pussy. So, you know, <laughs> I don't but that. but, you know, I mean, it's just that y you watch those other channels and it's it's like going into another world. You know, well, I, I tell you, I'm getting tired of Fox. If I see one more uh, my pillow commercial <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or. Uh, or uh, Joe Namath trying to pitch me. Oh, on, wait a minute. Uh, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold yeah. on a second. Yeah. You, no matter what channel you go to, you're going to get those. And uh, here you, you have your last chance to sign up for, you know, Advantage or Medicare. They run at least back. two different ads like those in every break back to back. I mean, right. you know, but the My Pillow we don't have to put up with over at MSNBC. We don't no, have to deal with them. 
He's no uh, problem. You wouldn't pay for anything uh, uh, to advertise on MSNBC. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, the My Pillow guy, uh, I, you know, I, he's going to have to start drinking uh, murdered out coffee yeah, yeah. If, uh, <laughs> if he continues. And now he has his Ginsu knife sheets really? or something. Um, <laughs> the, the well, sheets. Giza. Giza. Yeah. yeah. Giza sheets. Well, I don't want soft sheets. I want crisp sheets. Yeah. I want, I, I, I want to feel cool when I get into at bed. At my age, I want geezer sheets. Yeah, really. <laughs> but uh, Altakaka sheets in Yiddish. But uh, uh, so the, you know, Joe Namath. Now, when I was a kid mm -hmm. in the 60s, mm -hmm. uh, Joe Namath used to do the underwear commercials. He had billboards and he was like the sexiest man alive. You remember those? Uh, yeah. The, yeah. When he was up on the billboard modeling mm -hmm. underwear. Yeah. Now he's pitching, uh, uh, you know, Medicare supplements and his teeth are all capped you know they're they're all uh, what do they call them? veneers mm -hmm. you know and uh they're so white you can't even look at them they're so white that i don't think a uh, uh one of those um uh, uh, nazi uh, uh, uh white supremacist uh could could look at them they're, that's how white those teeth are yeah yeah no, the, the teeth were were quite white quite yeah, white very white. um uh, but uh you know i mean uh we, you know, this whole thing with the uh, with the uh, 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 vaccine. Uh, who knows how effective uh, it's going to be initially? I mean, we have to have it in. I think seventy percent of the population before there's a herd immunity. They say. You know, well, so. I would have gone for the Moderna one, uh, which, uh, but I didn't. I was going to buy. My friend told me buy the stock uh, on Friday, oh. and on Monday I went. I went to do a trade and it had already gone up 20 points. So I said, you know, I think that, you know, it's done uh, uh, going up. Right. And right. So I, I bought technology. You bought technology. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so anyway, so uh, how are you doing otherwise? Your health okay? I'm yeah. not sure. I'm going to need to go in, maybe do one of those EKGs, but I don't have the strength right now to run on the treadmill. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think I'll let them shoot me up with whatever they give you to, to raise your heart rate. Yeah. Well, and I, I get an e I, I, I can't get EKGs because for some reason my heart gives out with the wrong information or something. So my doctor, my doctor is a cardiologist and yeah. once a year gives me an echocardiogram. Well, is that the, you, did you see the thing you can get for 89 bucks uh, uh, from Amazon? Well, I have that, no, no, you have that on your watch. You can do that on your Apple watch. Yeah, well, it, same it'll, thing. well, yeah. I hooked up my It's Apple. not an EKG, it's an ECG. Oh, uh, will that give you some of the similar information that uh, you'd get from an electric uh, No, no, it's a different thing altogether, but uh, I can do it on this watch. I haven't yeah. done it in a long time, and it, it, you know, it'll tell me well, if my heart's out of rhythm. You know, I check in my blood pressure. I get up in the yeah. morning, I check the blood pressure. At night, I check the blood pressure. And lately, it's mm -hmm. been okay. Yeah. Well, you sound like you're healthy. You know, I don't feel healthy. Uh, I'm just so I'm so sick of being stuck indoors. And now the the governor today says, by the way, if you're, you know, if over sixty five, over sixty five, right? if you're older, okay. Don't go out. No, but if you want to, they'll put you in a uh, in an assisted living facility. Yeah, uh, in right. Oak but Ring. also, I well, I take I take cars everywhere. I, I take a lift, you know, and they usually have like some kind of plastic up between me and the driver, and it's fine. Then coming back, I said, "Well, I'm not going to take a cab," and then uh -huh. I suddenly realize cabs have better separation between you and the driver than that that's plastic to, stuff that's to keep them from getting robbed right but, right uh, but it, now it's it's a good protection against covid last time i talked to you I, you said that you were persona non grata on uh, lyft well what happened well i i got a hold of him and i said uh, you know this is bullshit i wore a mask how dare you say i didn't wear a mask they apologized took my name off the must wear a mask list or whatever, and uh, everything's fine with them now. Well, did they have a video? Did they review it? Or no, they, I, 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 something went wrong. Something went wrong with their system because uh, it's just not so. Anyway, hey, listen, I got a show to do with the rest of the people who are. Well, probably you enjoy 
Yeah. Uh, say hi to everybody. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm giving Charlie a new nickname. R really? Reaper. You know, because as soon as he gets on, he says, do you know how many people died today? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's waiting in our waiting room right now. And on your way out, you can say hello to him. All uh, right. Anyway. Uh, take care. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he goes. That's Phil Meyer. Thanks, Phil. Bye-bye. Okay, there we go. Ah, yeah. Okay, here we are. Are we okay? All right, fine. I don't know. There's something really strange about working. Okay, let me let me put a bunch of people here. Let me admit all of the ones that are there now, which are only two people. But, um, hmm, you know, we'll say, well, uh, let's see here. Charlie is, is, isn't joining yet, but there we have our good friend, um, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. How are you? Jeff Stein. Hello, Jeff. Wait a minute. Oh, I, I got to turn you up. Okay. Go ahead, Jeff. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Yeah, yeah I was just, I just screwed up. 2,500 people died today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're the Grim Reaper. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know no, what's interesting no. about Phil? Isn't he far more palatable one on one? Absolutely. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's much easier to get along with. You know. Uh, I always liked Phil. Well, I always. I, I've always liked Phil. It's just he. He. I, I think with a group of people, he kind of starts acting up because he feels defensive or something. So this works out fine. Hello, Robert. How you doing? Say, Phil knows we bet on this past election, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, oh okay. I, yeah. I thought maybe he thought 2024. No, 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 no. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. He's, he did do what you said, at plus, okay? He decided... No, actually, he didn't. Hmm? Actually, he didn't. He could have made this very simple. I tried to make life easy for him. He didn't have to send me a dime. All he had to do was cut a fucking check to the American Cancer Society for 20 bucks. Done. He could have been done that night. But what he did instead is he created a page. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. He created a page in, in Ronnie's name, which I really appreciated. Okay. Uh, in Ronnie's name. And he donated initially himself $100. Okay, so that's ten. To, that's uh, five times what you wanted him. To but he still hasn't put that money out of his pocket. I noticed. Well, but what happened was they then didn't let him do it because he just made it anomalous to you know we're doing it for the cancer society. So he's got to find a particular organization that's a cancer organization to do it. He's like his man Trump. He's no, making he's, a big he's, fucking no, deal. No, 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 no. He's he's he's. <laughs> being very nice about this he really is honorable about it i suppose if i just tell him get give cancer society the 20 bucks he would do it tomorrow he just was trying to do better than that hey there's okay. an idea send 20 bucks to the american cancer society <laughs> why didn't i think of that phil if you're listening that's Ro robert he doesn't want, he just want to wants to bust jesus people. christ well i thought it was nice because he was doing something in ronnie's memory you know do it separately, then. We'll all pitch in. <laughs> Phil is tolerable because he has no one else to interrupt but you. Hey, that's it. That's it. Yeah. And he, and he doesn't interrupt. And Phil knows I love him. Yeah. So I can say yeah. that. Yeah. I love him, too. I really do. He doesn't believe that, maybe, but yeah. I like the guy. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think the world of him. Always have. You know? I think he's waiting for the Supreme Court to rule in the favor of... $20 from American cancer back into his pocket. Yeah. By the way, uh, uh, Charlie, I just noticed something you wrote here. Uh, William Barr, you said, is the attorney general. Did I say something else? Bob. Bob Barr. Oh, Bob Barr. Oh. <laughs> I know. Um, I, I'm That's getting okay. to that point in my life where I'm doing everything wrong, you know? So... Please excuse by, me. By the way, while we're on the subject of Phil, I'm going to give you my impersonation of Phil logic. Ready? Okay. 
Someone no. says, Phil, the earth is round. Well, I don't know. I heard a guy the other day that filled out an affidavit saying he saw the edge of the earth. So, you know, some say this, some say that. It's a jump ball. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it depends on who you watch. You know, if you watch a OAN and you see those hearings today they had in Michigan or something where people are coming up and saying, you know, uh, I saw I saw people burning ballots right in front of me, you know, things like that. Uh, and that's the only information you get, then you're going to believe that. We're guilty of watching MSNBC and only getting that information. But the difference is that there are like 99 million fucking people who've given up on this and about six who haven't. Right. You know, so don't make it seem like it's an either or argument here. Well, look, you know, I, I asked Phil pointedly. I said, I don't want to really get into into Trump, but are you particularly happy with the way he's comporting himself? And he said, well, not not all, not 100 percent. No, you know, so, I mean, he it, 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 you got to be reasonable. I mean, let's face it. Trump is acting like a big baby. All right. Asshole. And uh, maybe babies are at least cute. Trump isn't, yeah. you know. Um, by the way, I, I, I'm finally getting sick of one thing with, with Joe Biden. If he tells me one more time what Grandpa Joe used to say, what Daddy Joe used to say, <laughs> you know, J Daddy Joe said this, you know, about having a job and so on. And uh, I, I, my, my impression of, of uh, Biden is saying that, uh, yeah, well, uh, my father uh, gave me some very sage advice when I was a kid, and I've been following that advice for all of my life. And that was, don't cross a dinosaur. <laughs> I've been doing that myself. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't get, if you see a dinosaur, run. That's okay. Right. <laughs> that's so that's I've been taking that advice. advice all my life. Yeah, but um, that's my that's my the first Biden joke. Okay, mm. you can take that to the bank, I guess. <clears throat> Marjorie laughed at it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so um, uh, but uh, uh, so how are things in Texas? Oh yeah, how many people are dead today? Oh, tw uh, 2,500, uh, over 2,000 again. So. What, 2,000 what? People? U.S. People US, died right? in the U.S., yeah. U.S., so yes, U.S. US yeah. Texas Wait. had 15,000 new cases today. 15,000 new cases? Did I yeah. hear today that 100,000 Americans are in hospital? Yes. For, yes. for COVID? Yep. I mean, just, just sit and think about that for a minute. That's Yankee Stadium filled more than twice. Wow. Jesus, God. Yeah, no, that's horrible. But we don't need another stimulus. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you have more more problems like mal malaria, malaria having Christmas parties yeah. with people what a decorating bit, huh? stuff. And they have a whole list of parties coming up, and nobody's wearing masks. This is ridiculous. Well, you see, Trump has already had COVID, so he can't get it, so he doesn't give a crap. Right. Yes, but he didn't give a crap before. Yeah, yeah, he didn't give a crap before. I mean, I, I don't know. Had. I don't know. I just don't understand how the guy can sleep at night knowing that on his watch, what are we up to now? I, I lost count. Two hundred and seventy thousand. Two hundred and seventy thousand people died on yeah. his Dead watch. America. There, yeah. there was this clip of. Him. I, I was watching too much back then, like Robert does now or all the time, I think. Mm -hmm. But I was watching CNN too much. And there there was a point in time when it was 50,000 mm -hmm. and it was slowing down when we're starting to come down actually a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Trump was saying, wow, we predicted 100 and something thousand or some 250,000, whatever it was, because we're going to be well below that. We're going to be well below right, of around 50,000 mm -hmm. and just out of control again. Yeah. And... and where it's, where it's really going out of control is that people are just getting stupid. They're just yeah. getting mm -hmm. stupid. I mean, I, I this whole concept, I saw some guy again today on TV going, you can't tell me what I have to wear on my face. Yeah. And I'm going, oh, yes, I can, because I had a thing I put up on my uh, Facebook page for a day or two, and it simply read, 
Not wearing a mask is like pointing a gun to my head. <clears throat> you know? And that really is the truth. I mean, I walk down the street, and there are people aren't there. I'm, I walk a gauntlet if I go up 116th Street. Uh, I'm walking a gauntlet where, you know, and everybody's wear, not, uh, not wearing a mask. Or if they're wearing a mask, they're wearing a chin strap, you know? Chin diaper. A, a chin, South diaper. Park chin diaper. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then that same person who's saying that stuff goes, walks to his car, closes the door, and the first thing he does is puts on a seatbelt. Puts on a seatbelt, right. <laughs> but he right. says, oh, you can't control me. <clears throat> yeah. Well, and I'm, bitches, if you go through a light, you know, God forbid... Because that's different. Yeah. I mean, but why? I mean, the only reason you wear a mask is to protect somebody else. You know? I mean, it's protecting you, too. In fact, they, they didn't, they, in the beginning, they didn't want you to say that the, the mask would protect you. But they found out now it really does. Um, in fact, a lot of things in the beginning that we thought were true aren't as true now. You don't hear... Them talking as much, they you say, yeah, wash your hands, but they don't say it as much. You know, it's not like touching things necessarily is a form of transmission. Surface yeah. transmission, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. They, I remember at the very beginning, they were talking, they had like, they had cardboard, they had plastic, oh. they had aluminum, and they had stainless steel. And they had like these times, like how long they think that this would stay on there. When we I, would get I, I went to... I went to Safeway with gloves on like the first couple times, but now it's like, I'm not really, I'm not, not that I'm not concerned, but I'm less concerned about really the touchy stuff than other than the airborne. We had, we had a tiled foyer. Okay. And when we would get packages from Amazon, we would have gloves on, we would take them with gloves and put them on the floor and then we would spray them with disinfectant. Right. And then we would leave them there for about two days before we opened them up. So it really wasn't two-day delivery from Amazon. It was more like five days, you know, because they just sat there. Yep. You need to find that video, that video you guys did. You need to replay that one time. That's going to be funny. Which yeah. one was that? The one when you got, didn't you have a video that you had the package? And you yeah. guys had that where you took it and you put it and all this stuff? No, I don't yeah, remember yeah. that. I have, to go, I, have to yeah. go, I have to go back and look at it. I, I don't yeah, that or maybe you just kept going through the process with us. But, oh, hey, look yeah. who's joined us. John Larkin has joined us. He came on as poor Tiffany, and I just, you know. Uh, because they're going to, uh, Tiffany's going to be the Patsy, you know. They're going to pardon everybody except for Pat Tiffany. <laughs> Who do you think is mm -hmm. going to be pardoned by Trump? I mean, besides you, Trump himself. How can you pardon people that haven't been haven't been charged with a crime yet. Mm, yeah. You can. We did. Yeah, we, they, we, they, we did. Nixon with, was never Nixon, charged. Right. Nixon was yeah. never charged. Yeah. But if the you can pardon somebody if the crime has already happened. Okay. Yeah. And then they try to charge them with it. Then you, you get what the, that's all about. Okay. But awesome. you know, to to accept a pardon, you have to accept your guilt. Yes. That's yes. supposed what's happened. But Flynn uh, and, and Manafort and all those people never accepted. is going to decide to care about us? But who is up? Who do you think? I, I heard today, I was watching, when I was watching Newsmax, they had a, a thing that went, you know, under the crawl of little news items, little news things. Who do you think Giuliani is asking Trump to pardon? Himself. Himself. Yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. Giuliani. Giuliani can't part. Yeah. Uh, no, who do you think? And I don't know if this guy is eligible because it's supposed to be a federal crime, and I can't remember whether this was a federal crime or not. Yeah. Bill Cosby. Oh, my oh, God. That's right. oh, no, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what? Now, is, is Bill, was Bill Cosby's crime a federal crime? No, that was state. Was no. it state? Yeah, yeah it's state. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Right? Then yeah, he, can't, right? he can't pardon him. Yeah. 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 So, Same with Trump's, yes, all Trump's state issues. Nothing can be pardoned there either. Right? Well, in Giuliani's line of work, he wouldn't know that state and federal stuff because he would, oh, that's right, he was a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he should have known. Yeah. After that video, after that video of him going down his pants, I wouldn't be surprised with the Bill Cosby stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
I thought this bribery for pardon scheme. Now, what was, what is that? I read I read something yeah, briefly yeah. about that, but I didn't see the whole story. What is it? Well, it, it, it's it's an alpha, I mean, it's a um, a judge released a uh, uh, some kind of a court document that showed that they back in August they started a a big investigation on a bribery for for a uh, pardon scandal. Mm -hmm. And there's only one person in the world that can pardon anybody and that's Trump. So, yeah. so it's, it's ongoing. And, uh, the yeah. judge, the only reason the judge would have released it is to like, I think to warn Trump that if you go pardoning people, you know, you're asking for a lot more trouble than what you think. Yeah. Well, I mean, but there were, there was some kind of scheme to pay off Trump well, to it, pardon it's people. All, it's all been extracted. So we don't know the story yet, but yeah. it'll come out eventually. He's got a lemonade stand, Trump, that says pardons $50,000. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and next he's... time, and next time I fill out my taxes, I'm blackening in every single category and just saying, sorry, it's redacted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Up yet. Boy. <laughs> that only works with Trump. Yeah. Oh. You're not gonna pass up. No, he him. hasn't he hasn't uh, pardoned Manafort yet, has he? Or did he? No. I'm trying uh -huh. to remember. No. Okay. So uh Manafort's a good shot, I would say. Oh that. yeah, I'm sure he'll it, it well, could be stoned too. He, he was a good stone. He already did. He already, stone. Stone. He already did stone. Stone. Yeah, but, but did the investigation stone. started before Stone was uh pardoned. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. it, it could yeah. it could be stone. Yeah, yeah, like a partial, right? Partial partner. Give you a whole shitload of people. And who, who did he do just recently? He did Flynn. Yeah. Flynn, yeah. Yeah, Flynn. Yeah. Um, did you raise your hand, Jeffrey? Did you want to say something? I'm saying that 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 Trump has a whole list of people that he wants to get off the hook. Yeah. But nobody knows who they are. Well, usually, sure. usually, in all deference to him. Uh, the president usually doesn't do this pardon thing till like the last week or so yeah. of his yeah. of his of his time in office. Here's here's my daydream. I've daydreamed this ten times. Trump decides the heat is on, and so he resigns as president. He calls Pence and says, "Okay, now you can pardon me." And Pence says. Kiss my fat, hairy ass. Really? I'm, uh, excuse <laughs> yeah. me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to loosen up my yeah. pants here because. Would that I'm... be beautiful? <laughs> yeah. Would. yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, then he probably got a picture of Jesus on his left cheek, Pence. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Well, I mean, there, there, there were stories. There were stories that he, that they don't know whether he can pardon himself. Okay. Um, but what he can do is about two days before he's due to leave office, like the 18th, he can resign, yeah. make Pence president, and then Pence's yeah. first act is to pardon Donald yeah. Trump. That doesn't get him off the hook here in New York or anywhere nope. else, uh, but, you know, yep. you know, it does get him off the hook for any federal stuff, which I don't know if that, you know, I... I, I always have a big question about it, and I know Charlie will disagree with me on this because he'll, he, uh, he, uh, you'd probably agree with this one, Charlie. It's got to be driving Trump nuts right now because at the White House, what is the biggest thing they're building right now? The stands for the inaugural. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. And every time he looks out the window, he can see them hammering the nails into the, uh, at the Capitol. At, at the Capitol. And uh, I'm just thinking that if you really want to make him unnerve him, as long as you got the wood, build a scaffold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just say right after the inauguration, you're going there. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Kevin. Hi, Alex. How are you? How you doing? Good. I have to thank you for uh, the recommendation. What recommendation was that? Oh, uh, was to watch Newsmax. I watched it today, and I almost fell out of my chair laughing all day long. It's it's just it, it's uh, it's uh, there. Uh, it's another that is the most that is the most bent freaking channel I have ever seen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they think I mean, even the commercials are bent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they do have a Trumpy. Trumpy bear commercial. Yeah, yeah, I have my Trumpy bear here, and that yeah. bear, that bear, which I bought for forty nine dollars. 
Okay. Ooh. Forty-nine bucks. Did you did you buy it with two easy payments of nineteen ninety-nine? No, I paid it all at once. I I, 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 oh. didn't, I didn't want uh, them to keep in contact with me on any <laughs> on any level. But I got the thing because I love the ad. You know, the Trumpy Bear ad is the best ad ever. Oh, it's hilarious. Guy on his motorcycle with Trumpy Bear on the handlebars. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know. and you can comb his Trumpy hair and everything. Yeah. yeah, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on, everybody. Just in case you don't believe me. I can't believe he sprung for this. Here we go. <laughs> oh, he's not really a Trumpy Bear because he's wearing a mask. Okay. And he's got a little zipper in the back there where you can Trumpy fist him, can't huh? you? What? <laughs> you can Trumpy fist him, can't you? Yeah, yeah, there we yeah, go. Bend, There's Trumpy bend, Bear. Bend him over and yeah. open the zipper and you can Trumpy here, fist him. Here, 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 Trumpy Bear, wear it like you wear it in my neighborhood. Okay, <laughs> there we go. No, but then, anyway, this is Trumpy Bear and he's got the red tie and he's got the hair. I don't know what bear this was before they made it into a Trumpy bear, but all they had yeah. to do was put the hair on him and the tie. Oh, and by the way, in the back here is a zipper, okay? <laughs> and if you pull the thing that's out in it, it's an American flag. Oh. So you have an American flag. So I thought a... there was the one down below where you can stick it up the, you know. And it says right there, Trumpy bear. See? Made in China. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so let me see right. if it was made. Oh, Tony, yeah. Tony can sell that for a couple hundred dollars with one of those magazines, his Trump magazine. Oh, yeah. Let's see here, where does I have my wife put a zipper down yeah. below and, and sodomize the thing? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, made in China. It is. Yeah, <laughs> made in China. <laughs> for thirty-eight cents a minute. America thirty-eight first. cents an hour. Anyway, uh, Trumpy, get over. Yeah, that. that, yeah. that that station is something else. I watched uh, corner, but they, three my shows point. and a couple of news shows, and I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll tell you what. A bu bunch of bent people there. Oh, I, it's like a, it's go, it's like going into bizarro world, isn't it? Yeah. It is. You it know, is absolutely bizarre. Yeah, you gotta watch it it's like everything's the opposite of what it is in this yeah. world. No contact with reality. Yeah, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, you, you mic yeah, isn't me. on. Your your mic isn't on. Oh, I'm sorry. I spend 10 minutes on that crazy store, and then I'm out. Yeah. yeah. That stuff is... Well, well, what I did last night... I was just laughing my ass. ...is I went to my Newsmax app on Roku, and then it's got all the shows there uh, archived. Oh. And I then got to see some of the other people. <laughs> and uh, Sean Spicer's show is really... Yeah, I saw Aces. that one today. I saw Sean Spicer and then that Kelly guy. Well, right? he Kelly he is, used to be the morning host here on Channel Five till he got fired. Yeah, and he was always kind of just a goofy guy, really. Yeah, he is. Goofy. And he used to he, his father used to be the police chief of New York City. Yeah. Oh my uh, God! Yeah. yeah, this guy sat there and he goes, "I just, I, you know, I just love Donald Trump's hand gestures. I just the, the way he does this. I just, I love that." I love that. And I'm going, are you kidding me? <laughs> I rolled out of my chair. They have an app. Uh, and then they, 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 did the, uh, they did the thing. They did a segment on Melania walking through the, you know, the, I don't know how they can pick on this woman. She's beautiful. She does this. And then they, they go to, they go to film and she's walking through and they're doing the whole thing with the Christmas and, and she's doing, but doesn't she hate, how can they pick on this beautiful woman? Doesn't you know, she? Doesn't going, she? Doesn't oh she? God. Doesn't she hate Christmas? Yeah. 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 She said, yeah. "Who gives a fuck about the Christmas decorations?" <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like, and he's sitting there just sniffing her butt, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but hey, it, 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 it is. About, uh, if you, what about this uh, person, Maria Bartiromo? Bar oh, oh, yeah, she's another winner. Hey, well, you know, she me... used to be a good business journalist at yes. one time, like well, 20 she, years ago. Years ago, she used to be known over before. when she was over at CNBC as the Money Honey. Yeah. yeah. The money money honey. honey. And I had her on my what show in San Francisco. Um, yeah, well, didn't uh, Joey senior. Ramon wrote a song about her? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I had her uh, in studio in San Francisco when I was at CNET. And uh, I, I, she, I'm just drooling all over her. She was just hot, you know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I know she's turned into she's turned to seed and into this 
just sycophant of Trump. Whenever she interviews yeah. Trump, it's like, you know, uh, yeah. uh, you know, it's like she's blowing him oh, by yeah. proxy. <laughs> I've seen her a few times on, on uh, is it Saturday or Sunday on Fox or whatever mm -hmm. she does? Well, she does every day. She's on the business channel. Oh, okay, because I've seen her on Oh, Fox. listen, when they, they hired her Fox. away, when they hired her away from CNBC, Fox paid her a fortune. Yeah, because I've seen her on regular Fox, I think, uh, on, the, on the weekend. Yeah. And I'd watch her for about 15 minutes and had to go into the bathroom and launch. But, you know, <laughs> but, you know... It, it, I see. I saw. I saw her the other day. You know, with uh, Trump on the on the phone, and it was like ridiculous. She oh, yeah. just went overboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Didn't question any of his bullshit at all. And then at the end, she no. goes, "Well, we really have to do something about our elections." You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. <laughs> and and yeah, why well, is that's, it? That's what it was with Newsmax all day long. It was how bad the election. Yeah, but, but let long. me let me take you one step further at Fox. They have a channel called Fox Business, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah, where they never talk about business. Yeah, right. Yes. They what? never talk about business. Yeah. The only thing, the closest thing they come to business is they have the Dow Jones over in the corner. Yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's like MTV. If you want music, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> if you want things about business, uh, stick around. They may talk about it for two minutes, you know, but right now they're talking about uh, uh, Trump and how he's handling the COVID crisis. And, you know, yeah. and I'm going, wait a minute, you're, you're trying to compete with like CNBC with this crap? Yeah. You know, um, so, I mean, all these channels are, I mean, I wish I could tell you that I could look at Newsmax and get some value out of it. And the only value I got out of it today was the crawl that said that Giuliani has mentioned to Trump that he should pardon Bill Cosby. And yeah. then I thought about it and I said, did Bill Cosby commit a federal crime? And if he didn't, then doesn't Giuliani as a lawyer know he can't pardon Bill Cosby? <laughs> Yeah. Well, did he did he ask for that, or was that just mixed in with another one? Because I, I thought I saw the same thing. Well, uh, one of the first thing was is that uh, Cosby is going to the Supreme Court or something to have his sentence. Yeah, it was written. an appeal. Yeah, an appeal. And then it said the next thing right after. So you saw the same thing I did. Was that Giuliani talked to Trump about pardoning Cosby? You know. Um, in yeah. fact, he talked to him about pardoning Borat, which I thought was interesting. You know, so. Did anybody see today the the uh, election official from Georgia yeah. make, making a plea? Yeah. I mean, he, he was really pleading yes. with the president and with anybody that would listen. You got to stop this shit because it turns out that a kid that worked for the... Uh, the company Dominion, yeah. they're now yeah. blaming the voting machines were all crooked and this and that. Well, there was a 20-year-old kid that worked for the company, and he wound up with a noose on his property or something with his name on it. Mm -hmm. And this Georgia election official, if you can find it on YouTube, it's well worth your time. Yeah, It, it was just, I mean, he was damn near in tears pleading, you've got to stop this. He, somebody's going to get killed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the the best one though was I believe it was the Arizona official who held a press conference because he was going to make it official that Biden had won the electoral votes in yeah, Arizona, certifying, yeah. certifying him. And as he's certifying him, the phone rings. And the phone ring was identified as the ring that was especially dedicated to Donald Trump calling. <laughs> Show him what he did. <laughs> he just <laughs> went. He <laughs> 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 silenced it. <laughs> he plays hail to the chief and he put it down on the, on the was table. Was that it? Okay. Yeah. And he just, boom, puts it down and goes, ah, I don't want that shit. I don't want to talk to that <laughs> asshole. That was the governor. <laughs> oh, was it the governor? Was it the governor? Yeah. Yeah, it was Ducey, yeah, Greg yeah, Ducey. Ducey. Yeah, yeah. And he's like a Republican, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. a Trumpy. He's yeah, a Trump even, even Republicans are are bailing out on Trump. Oh, they yeah, just, oh, totally. I think they would have, they would have, you know, been nicer to him all the way around 
if he just hadn't become such a big baby about this deal, you know? And they just don't want to be associated with that kind of behavior. Still too many are afraid to cross them. Yeah, yeah. yeah how, how long do you think, uh, you know, Trump's going to hold this power that he's got, you know? I mean, he raised $170 million bucks since the election just off of this bullshit from these saps that are listening to him. I mean, how long is this going to last? You know? I have no idea. But um, uh, Marjorie keeps mentioning, and it is true, um, that as of today, and she says they have done, how many Republican senators have congratulated Joe Biden? Hmm. One, two. Yeah, I think I think Romney did. Yeah, I heard Romney. And I think Susan Collins may have, or who's that other one? Mc, uh, what's her name? In Alaska. Yeah, in Alaska. Uh, but outside of that, I mean, McConnell has never once said, congratulations, Joe Biden. I don't agree with you. You're not, you know, you're not a Republican, but uh, congratulations on your win. You know. but Senator Coons of Delaware has made it clear that he's gotten many calls from Republicans congratulating the Democrats on Joe's victory. And they say to Coons, we can't come out publicly and say that. Okay. Okay. You know, but why can't they? What are they afraid of? Be because I mean, 70 whatever million votes, votes, they're afraid to cross his ass. But you know something? He's got loser's breath. Yeah. You know? I mean, he's he, 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 what are they afraid of? Are they afraid he's suddenly going to turn all these people against him? Look, it, yep. it, it looks like he has acted so badly, so poorly against Georgia that it may well be that in Georgia we'll get two senators because he's done such a bad job of it. That, yeah. that, uh, they, he fe they feel that a lot of Republicans are going to stay away from the polls <laughs> for that election because they went simply to vote for Trump to begin with. And now they, they're so fed up with this, they just don't have the incentive to go in and vote for the Republican, but the Democrats do. So yeah. let's hope that they, you know that's the way it turns out. But he may have screwed up the election, the senatorial election. In, uh, and now he's going down there, I think, next weekend to campaign, which is going to seal their There are doom. some Republicans that have said that they may not, they really don't think they want him to go down there because yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah. But well, he, he's going down there to campaign. Do you really think for a minute that he's going to spend time talking up the two Republican candidates? Or do you think he's going to go down there to piss and whine? You know, well, I mean, look, to begin, to begin with, he endorsed Kemp, who I think is the governor in uh, in Georgia when he yep. ran for governor. Good guy. Yep. Best guy I've ever known. He's terrific. He's the best guy you can have. Kemp, Kemp, Kemp. And then when I, Kemp wouldn't like fix the election for him or whatever he wanted him to do, all of a sudden, Kemp's an asshole. Now Kemp's he's hapless, yeah. Huh? Now, now, now he's saying. Now he's saying Barr's an asshole because uh, Barr won't uh, confirm this uh, bullshit. Yeah. Did you hear it tonight? He's going, well, oh, Barr well, doesn't Bar know what he's talking about. Barr didn't, well, he's finally Bar right about something. Well, well Barr, didn't say, Barr didn't say that there is no evidence of misdeeds, just that there aren't, isn't enough evidence of enough misdeeds to have turned the election. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's what he's saying. He's not exactly saying that there wasn't some hanky-panky or whatever, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure in any election, you can go and look and you can find people are committing hanky-panky. It's just, you know, uh, they do it because they like the word hanky-panky. And they do it also because uh, um, they can, you know. I think it happens in every election on both sides. But, but never anything to affect any change. No, it didn't affect any change. Like I said, hey, you want us to give you Pennsylvania? Eh, give Trump Pennsylvania. Keep him happy. Yeah. He's Biden's still president. You want to give yeah. him Michigan? Give him Michigan, too, or Wisconsin, one of those two. He's still, Biden's still president, you know. Throw in free see, shipping. I mean, you remember the night of the election before Pennsylvania was settled and Georgia was settled and any of that. They said, if at least we win in Arizona and Nevada, he's president. So that's mm -hmm. all he really needs to keep. Give by give Trump everything else and, and Biden's still president. Yeah. 
you know. Today's, today's, today's mm-hmm. Lincoln Project, mm-hmm. they just did a montage of him crying and whining, and at the end they said, just shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah that was what got me when I saw that, and I went, I don't think they've ever cursed in any of those. <laughs> I don't think so either. It, but the last line the is, so, just, sign, just shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> that's all yeah. we need from me now. Mm. By the way, if I played that ad on here, I'd be demonetized because of the word fuck. So, you know. I think fisting Trump might have done it. <laughs> That's not an image I want to think no, about. No. <laughs> God. Did you see that photo on uh, who was being spread on uh, Twitter with uh, Trump wearing these white uh, khaki pants and he's golfing? And uh, it, it just shows this big ass diarrhea stain on his ass. Yeah. <laughs> they said, said massive dumps, massive dumps. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, I mean, whatever. You know, I just, uh, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be such a crappy winter. God damn it! I just yeah. want to go out and frolic. You know, <laughs> but yeah. it's dangerous. It's dangerous out there. It's like I, I feel it's like um you know it's like a gauntlet I walk, uh oh. you know when I'm walking down the street. Excuse me, I've got to I've got to I've got my my underpants are creeping up on me. And I got to. <laughs> At least oh, you have God. underpants on tonight. Well, yeah, I I go. have this I have this hernia, <laughs> and when I'm sitting for a long period of time, it kind of just is uncomfortable. That's all. Um. But I ain't doing anything about the hernia until I absolutely have to. I got I got enough things I got to do. The eyes, the hernia, the hand, the hand. Before I'm, and I and I go so I do all this and then I drop dead. What was it worth doing? You know. Hey, you take a look at Kevin's chair. What? <laughs> nice pink chair. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's sweet. By the way, did you hear that uh, Juno? You know, cute little Juno from the movie Juno. What's the actress's oh, yeah. name? Yeah. Came out today and said she's now a transgender. She wants to be thought of as a guy. Yeah. So, so does that mean she's going to have the operation or what? No, no, no. You mean the adedictomy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no, she just wants to be thought of as a guy. She says, I am now a he, she. Mm-hmm. And my new name is Elliot. What was, what was her name originally? I'm trying to remember what her name was. Ella. Ellen? Ellen. Oh, so now it's Elliot. Okay. Ellen. Why did she change it to Alan? If she was Ellen, change it to Alan. You know. Did you ever see that first movie she did where uh, she she lured the guy into her house? Yes. And and she she fucking tortured him. Yeah. That was a good movie. <laughs> it was a good movie. It was a very good yeah, movie. Yeah. She's it's good. Hard, she, hard she, Candy, I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that was the name of it. You're right. Yeah. I would never remember that. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and she was great in Juno, and she's a good little actress, you know. But yeah. you know, now now I don't know. She now she's just a good actor, you know. I, I have no idea what I don't know how to how to deal with that. But uh, yeah. I, I I don't really care. She always kind of looked like a guy anyway. So you know. yeah. Well, first she came out and said she was a lesbian. That was yep. the that was phase number one. Then today she came out and said she's a transgender. <laughs> So does that mean, mean that she's only going to take male roles in the future? I don't know. How does that well, work? that's a good question. Yeah. Either that or she just may never work again because nobody yeah. will be able to figure out what kind of role to put her in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, well, she can't be typecast now, right? She should be typecast? Yeah. I mean, what do you do with it? Would you cast her in anything if you had something? You're going to make a movie about a transgender girl or boy. Um, yeah, I just, I think... Um, I don't think I would cast her as a guy, and I think she wouldn't mind playing a woman. That doesn't, you know, that's not the way she put it. She put it that I am now a he, she, which seems to indicate that she could be either thing if you wanted yeah. her to be. I thought yeah. she said he, them. I am now he, them. Did she say he, them? I thought it was he, she. I thought but I read it, he, them. Maybe it was he, them. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, I don't know. Will she, will she, will she turn down parts? Is she trans? Is she transgender or schizophrenic? Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's that. I don't know. She's she's transgender, but it, it's you know it's it's kind of a weird thing. You had somebody like um, uh, Chaz Bono, mm-hmm. yeah, 
who grew some grew some great facial hair once got those uh, those hormones yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but Chas Bono has never had an operation. Never had the surgery. Never had the surgery, mm -hmm. uh, which is a little more difficult if you're a woman trying to be a guy as opposed to a guy trying to be a woman. You know, with a guy you just go <laughs> chop chop and that's it. You know. <laughs> Uh, they, no, you got to invert the penis so it's inside. You have to invert the penis. Okay. Yeah. Well, what, whatever. Anyway, Chaz has never had the operation, but Chaz has always been there as a guy. Okay, and has taken some roles playing guys. Yeah. I can't remember what I saw him in a while back, in which he, you know, was one of the people in it. I said to Marjorie, "I said, look, Chaz Bono, <clears throat> aren't you?" Oh yeah, right. You know, that's good. I remember when I was a kid, we used to watch that variety show my mother used to watch. I don't know if it was on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Didn't she drag the kid? I remember as a kid watching. Yeah, Sonny and Cher show. Yeah, sure. she used to bring him out sometimes. She used to bring the kid it. out. And, and, and she was not a cute kid. She was kind of an ugly no. kid. My mother did her house. She's <laughs> bringing so, the kid out. So know. when she decided to be a guy, I went better off. You know? She, there used to be this cigar store in San Francisco that I used to hang out and smoke cigars in on Market Street. This back back in the early 2000s, maybe the late 90s. And she used to come in there, I guess this was before she would had been transferred, and she'd come in there and bullshit with us, smoke cigars with us and stuff. The only thing she had done was she took hormones so she could grow a beard uh, and, and her voice would lower, mm -hmm. yeah. and she had her breasts removed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know. Substantial. Huh? That's a substantial change. Yeah. That's yeah. That's commitment. Yeah, I, I for some, uh, and I always admired her commitment, actually, or his commitment. Hey, wait a minute, his commitment. Uh, yeah. I always admired his commitment. I don't know why, but I always thought that uh, Chaz Bono was maybe a perfect example of a transgender and how to comport yourself. You know. Uh, I don't know that I'm that convinced about uh, Bruce Jenner or what's her name, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not that's not a. You were thinking him on the Wheaties box in the '70s when I used to get my cereal. Yeah, like he was doing the comic box. Well, you know, I mean, there was that shocked people because I mean they go, "Gee, he was the All American," you know, he was the he was the most famous guy ever on a Wheaties box. I mean, I remember those Olympics yep. as a kid. Yeah. Remember uh, B Billy D. Williams? Yeah. He, he's trans now. No. 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 He's not. No. He's not. No. He's not. He's Check it out. Hold on. Oh, Hold on a second. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Billy. He's not gay or something. He's a Star Wars. He's Diana Boss. Williams. I, I think you're wrong. Billy D. I, Williams. No, there's no picture of him remember. looking like a woman. What's his net worth? So. Is Billy D. Williams in Mandalorian? Billy D. Williams still married? Uh, well, let me go to Wikipedia. Personal life. Here we go. Personal life. That would come under personal life. Uh, right. He's been married. Th he's been married three times. Has three children. Two grandchildren. Does that sound like gay to you? I think I think he's changing, or he came out, or something. Because I saw it on. Uh, it was on that, that uh, AM Joy show. <laughs> no, it it's not on Newsmax. Huh? It is? In a 19... Oh, it was on AM Joy. It was Joy, Joy Reed's show. Yeah. In late 2019, Williams Cal talked Reese about... Oh, oh, I know! Oh, 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 okay, all right. Hold on a second. I got it here. In 2019, Williams talked about his fem feminine side in an interview uh, and uh, used masculine and feminine pronouns to refer to himself. Media outlets widely speculated that Williams might be gender fluid. But he clarified that he was referring to anima and animus, the feminine side of men and the masculine side of women in Jungian psychology. So he was just referring to, Okay, okay whatever. Whatever. Are you disappointed now? <laughs> Are you disappointed? Close enough. It was close enough. <laughs> you making these publicists don't don't talk about anything but the movie, please. <laughs> We're trying to sell tickets here. <laughs> I mean, what you, movie? You know. Well, I'm just saying, like hypothetically speaking, they probably just talk and they don't realize what they're talking about. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you are you are you really uh, you happy now that you know Billy D. Williams isn't, or are you 
disappointed because you were hoping he was. I don't know. I don't, I don't care. I just thought I heard something. I mean, I can take it back, and you can live in your la la land. I don't there. care. Yeah. I, yeah. I just thought I heard it. Yeah. Um. You you know what's kind of interesting if you look back in the history of Hollywood, mm. and uh, there's a very good documentary. There was a guy, great story, who ran a gas station in Hollywood. Richfield gas station when Richfield was the thing and the gas station was a front for being a whorehouse for guys and guys would come by with their cars and they'd have it oiled and they'd go in and get greased up you know <laughs> whatever. Up. and the whole movie is about this guy and him telling all the stories about the guys who were gay who just hit it and came to the gas station to get laid. And you'd be surprised if you watch this documentary, who is and who wasn't oh uh, gay. I mean, it was just amazing. Uh, uh, I can't remember some of them right now, but if you ever get a chance, I think it was a documentary on HBO or something like that. It's a great, yeah, I, I, great movie. I think I saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but in Hollywood, you had probably a larger amount of gay actors than straight actors. I mean, it was, it was, it was a, a profession where gays could work and earn a good living, you know? And they were accepted by the community because some, a lot of the directors were gay, you know? And um, so it was really a, very much a gay Hollywood. And yet, you go back and you look at those actors and you go, he was gay? You know? And... Um, uh, I'd name some of them, but I can't remember who they were, and I don't want to besmirch somebody who doesn't want to be outed. Uh, but if you ever get a chance to see the documentary, it's fascinating. Just absolutely fascinating. Well, everybody knew about Rock Hudson. Yeah, Rock Hudson was an obvious oh. one, but there were ones when, they, in this documentary, they were saying so-and-so, and I go, gay? You know, I would have never even sussed that and out. Raymond Burr? Well, Jeez. Raymond Burr, come on. I met the guy once, and he was the biggest. Really? Oh, he was just, he tell? was flaming. He was just flaming, you know. You know, I was just reading that Montgomery Cliff. I don't know if it's true. He, he was, was gay. Watching, uh, reading a book on, I think it was Jerome Robbins. They said they dated. Is that true? He was gay. Yeah, yeah, Montgomery <laughs> Cliff was gay. How do you realize that? Yeah. I thought he was bisexual. No, uh, the the one that everybody always questioned was Cary Grant, because in fact he sued uh, yeah. uh, Chevy Chase because Chevy Chase referred to him as uh, well. He, there are guys who are gay who don't say it like Cary Grant, so Cary Grant sued him, and uh, Chevy Chase had to you know pull it back. But what 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 the, what I read about him was there was a period of his life where he was gay. You know, he would he would he would go back and forth, but mm -hmm. as he grew older, he was straight. He didn't didn't dabble in that any longer. So Cary Grant, yeah, he probably had some sexual dalliances with guys. Uh, there are great pictures of him with his roommate in his Malibu uh, cottage with uh, Randolph Scott. Now Randolph Scott was gay. But it turns out they never had a relationship going. But all the pictures were them sitting on the, at, by poolside with their dog, their little terrier dog, and so And the pictures looked very gay. A guy by the name of Kenneth Anger wrote a book called Hollywood Babylon, and it features those pictures and without any statement about who's gay and who isn't gay. Just look at these pictures. Do they look gay to you? And you go, oh, my God. Yeah, it's amazing. I read a, a biography one of several on Buddy Holly, and this guy implied very strongly that Buddy Holly had a fling with Little Richard, of all people. Well, Little Richard was gay. Oh, yeah, no question, but Buddy Holly was news to me. Well, I mean, you know. You're on Maybe the, been just experimental. Maybe you're on the road together. Yeah. You get a little drunk. Um, didn't uh, Little Richard came out on... Uh, the Letterman show in the 80s one time, and he said, I've completely uh, been de-gayed, you know, I'm, I'm totally religious now, and 
I'm, I've been degayed. So <laughs> well, he he became a preacher. Yeah, yeah. And when he became a preacher, he decried the fact that he was gay. Then he went back to music again, and uh, became I, gay guess, again. I guess he was gay again. I mean, who who knows? You know, all I know is that my most memorable moment was when I was supposed to have little Richard on the show, and I I did have him on one show, and then I had to have him be, wanted him back on again, and uh, because I went to his hotel room to interview him. And the second time, we set up for me to go do the interview with him. And, or he was supposed to come to the studio. And just shortly before he was supposed to show up, he called and said he couldn't make it because, and this was his excuse, he had a touch of the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to think, what is that exactly? You know, was that what I had, a touch of the cancer? I don't know, you know. A little Vicks Vapor Rub and you're good. Yeah, a little Vicks Vapor Rub and you're good. I mean, just amazing. Just amazing. Uh, but uh, that was my memory of little Richard. Uh, but uh, anyway, so. Alex, do yeah. you remember when you had the Elton John interview? Did you ever have any read? Did he, was he openly Elton John? Do you remember? No, he wasn't. He didn't. Uh, in those days, a lot of people didn't come out mm -hmm. because uh, they didn't want to. They, you know, their careers would be ruined. You know, I think Elton John came out at a point where you could do it and it was accepted. Okay. But you got to remember when I was doing the show and I had Elton John on the show, what year was that? God, it had to be 1971, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he was his first tour of America. I did the first interview with him. Nobody, wow. nobody was interviewing rock people back then except me. So, uh, and um, I reminded him of it when I met up with him years later, and his response was, oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> who the fuck uh, are you? Yeah, who the fuck yeah. are you? I just said, I, you did the first interview in America with me. And he went, oh, okay, sure. Uh, this is backstage in Barcelona. Anyway, where was I? I, I digress. So he, at that time, you just didn't come out. You know, it, it wasn't, you know. Now, I'll tell you who's come out that mm -hmm. bothers me. And coming out today isn't like saying you're gay. It's it's saying you're you don't believe there's a COVID problem. Okay, yeah. that's oh. the new coming out. Have you seen who just came out? Who? Van Morrison. Really? What? He's he's turned out four songs already, yelling and screaming about the how horrible it is to be cooped up and to be, you know, this whole losing of your rights because of COVID. And really? he's being joined now in another song by Eric Clapton. <laughs> and, but it isn't that Clapton is exactly denying that there's a COVID problem, but it, he the, the song they did, all the proceeds, are going to rock people who can't pay the bills because of COVID. So uh, I can't say that, you know, that he's the same as... You know, is Van Morrison. But Van Morrison is rabid about it, so rabid that the Prime Minister of Ireland called him totally irresponsible for his stance on this thing. So, yeah. Wow. So, yes, I have been watching the news, folks, and these are the little items that somehow washed up make, rock stars make sense to me. Thank so, you for sharing that with me. Yeah. So, Kevin and I get together every now and then with a couple of other people. Uh, and talk on Saturday nights to each other. It's not, not, we don't broadcast it or anything. Was there anything we talked about the other night to be worth talking about here? Nah. <laughs> nah. Bullshit. Nah. Well, yeah. I kind of like it because it's a show I can do, and if, uh, it's a thing I can do that if I have to go to the bathroom, I can leave for a while and go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, here I feel I have to stick around for the whole show. So. Here you only pull up your pants. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's just it's, it's it's just about four of us, and we just sit around and you know it's until we all get groggy. Except for Kevin. Kevin's the only one that's not in a time zone where you get groggy. You know. But I get groggy. Huh? But I do get. Groggy. But you do get groggy. What are you doing there? You're writing something. Uh, it's counting votes. Checkbook. 
No. Are you writing your checks out while we're doing the show? No, I'm just balancing my book. Oh, setting up. I haven't done it in about three weeks, so I'm just catching up. I know. I've always had a business manager, so I never balance my checkbook. But I guess you still do, can still balance your checkbook. Yeah, if I don't, I get in trouble. Oh, okay. All All of a sudden, I'm writing checks that I can't keep. Oh, okay. All right. I I don't know how to write a check anymore. Every now and then, I I, I uh, don't write checks. It's just my, you know, my card. I had a doctor who wouldn't fact, take credit cards and wouldn't take, he would only take check. So I had to write a check. And I forgot completely how to write a check. It had been so long since I wrote a check. And I, I guess here you got to write out $15.33, then under it XXX yeah. for cents. I mean, I couldn't remember any of it. And then when it came to doing the signature, forget it. I had, to, I had to write one the other day, and I went to go get one, and I didn't have one. And I went to order some more. Yeah. The last time I ordered them was like two and a half years ago. I haven't. Uh, I think the checks I have here I ordered about 10 years ago. Wow. Well, and I haven't gotten through them yet. It was only, you know, I only like. 40 or 50 at a time. And when I run out, I like to have them around just in case I need them for some stupid reason yeah. like that. You know, somebody writes me and says, we, we only take checks. You know, so. Well, I told you about the thing with the, uh, with the, insur- with the insurance companies. Uh, both of them. Both my uh, supplemental insurance and my prescription insurance. Uh, how are we going to pay? How do we pay for this, I say to the salesman. Oh. And he says, oh, don't worry. They'll send you a coupon book. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, what year is this? It's like 52. I got a coupon book when I bought my first car. Okay. And every month I would rip it up and you would see it dwindle. And finally, when you got down and it was no, nothing left in the book, you knew it was time to buy a new car. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but who has you? Isn't, don't they just say, hey, what's your credit card number? We'll just take it off. But no, they send you a coupon book, and then you got to call them and figure out a way to pay them through the bank rather than, I mean. Everything's so, in here. Huh? Everything's in here. Yeah. All my accounts and my and my car payment. Yeah. Yep. So and every time, I, and, and all I do is just transfer the money and then make a payment in seconds. Yeah, but do you have to, quarter, do you get a coupon to, book? Yeah. No, I said no coupon book, please. <laughs> yes. I pay my rent through the phone, too. Charlie, yeah. Charlie, you had your yeah, hand up? When, uh, when I file quarterly tax statements, I, I write a check. That's about the only thing I write a check for. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Every okay. three months. A quarterly what? What are you doing? You, because of my oh, umpire oh, income, they don't take anything out, so I, I file oh, quarterly. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Does that, does that make you the a kind of money that you have to do that? You know, I have to pay taxes on it. I guess, I guess, uh, of course. Ball umpiring? Or? Yes, I have. I to, have an umpire since March. What I have to pay money on is all that big money I get from YouTube. Wow, the monetization. <laughs> this I year, so. I made a hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> Here, we'll help you out with that. Fuck, fuck, Profit. fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's it. There's our theme. Boy, you know, a nice little night tonight. This is just, you know, happy and peppy and zippy. And thanks to Phil earlier for being on with us. Uh, Jeff, thank you. Stay safe up there in Connecticut because you guys are, you're, you're, you're getting really. Getting ski, tough. Ski, you're getting tough. Uh, Charlie, be safe out there in Texas because, you know, your governor's a shithead. Uh, Robert, stay Safe over there in New Jersey. Your governor is trying to do right, but it's pretty hard to do it, you know. Yes. yes. Uh, and uh, 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 poor Tiffany, John Larkin. Thank you. How's the uh, how's the uh, herpes Jingles. or what? Was, what was it you had? Shingles. Shingles. How is it? Still sucks. It itches. It's a wow. fucking motherfucker. One, one month. Over. One month. Mine was exactly one month. Really? Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, as long well, as I got to get a haircut, yeah. you know, and it. It's my scalp is so sensitive. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do it, you know. Well, thank you very much, Brian. I appreciate it. 
for the night. And, and same to you, Kevin. Always love having you here balancing your checkbook. And Tony, always love having you here with your really, really hideous wallpaper. Everybody, uh, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you as well. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, there'll be another citizen panel forming like crust on bread. Uh, right after this show is over with, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, on the intersection with Jack Bishop. He'll be doing it on Skype, and the phone number or the Skype number for that is, write this down, GabNet Live. I'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. Uh, the sports show is on at uh, 8.30 with uh, the franchise MC, and that will be followed by me at 10.30, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, Tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. And be nice to your fellow man and woman by wearing a mask. Bye. Yeah.